And I'll bring up this story here because uh, nothing cleanses the palate like a police story. And police say a man was masturbating when he crashed in Fresno. So this is a Fresno story, people. You probably can get involved if you're uh, out there in Fresno. You ever do that, Joe? You ever uh, drive a car and just start pounding off and crash your car? I, You know, I wish. It's on my bucket list. It's on, the, on your on things to do. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, here, here is the news report here. Uh, let's have some fun. Let's listen to this. In Fresno County, took an odd turn this morning. Oh, the sheriff's office says 31-year-old Osved Vasilian hit two cars near Herndon and Riverside, then got out of his car and walked off. The sheriff's office says he also pulled down his pants and started masturbating in broad daylight by the crash. A deputy detained him near Dickie's Barbecue. No one was hurt, though American Ambulance did show up to make sure everyone was okay. Vasilian's car was towed away from the area. He was cited for misdemeanor hit and run. One wait, of the wait. men who was hit posted about... What's that, Cratchit? No, just go ahead. I'll finish it up. I have some questions. On TikTok, <laughs> showing the scratches on his Mustang, the really bad damage to another truck, and debris scattered across the road as Fresno police investigated. He caught video of Vasilian appearing to touch himself, what you saw right there, before he... I, I'll pause it right there. Literally, so the guy crashes his car, gets out, he's standing up next to like the, the car crash, and starts pounding off <laughs> in the middle of the street. Oh, yeah. I this have to do great. it. Yeah, this is this is really so. That's bad. one of my questions. Was 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 this pre, was this was he doing this before the accident? So, yeah, or he just was had it to after? Finish. Yeah, um, I, I don't, I don't, I never leave a job unfinished. Is what he was. Yeah, doing. I think that's what he's like. So maybe I, he started, started this got thing. distracted, wrecked, got out, figured I better finish it off because I've got a half job going anyway. Um, I got nothing better to do. I'm waiting for the. I'd like to, to know up. why they didn't play up the fact that they stopped him near a Dickies barbecue. There you go. So what the hell? Penis man. I'm imagining that. Yeah, he I'm, was driving down the street. He was pumping off. He got into a crash and says, "Listen, I've done all this work, and I got this far. I've come this far. I got to no complete the the task. I I gotta I gotta keep going." And so he did. He's a Hey, he, he finishes what he starts. Well, let's also, this. wasn't there an entire um, movie? What was it called? Crash. Yes. About people who were sexually excited by car ac- getting getting in car accidents. Yeah. So with, maybe uh, this is this is the only way this guy can get off, and it's very expensive. <laughs> I'll finish up this uh, news report. Only ten seconds left. Away from police, going right through traffic, and nearly getting hit by two different cars turning onto Riverside. Stop pumping. Uh, yeah, this guy walked away, uh, pounding uh, his pecker, uh, choking his chicken. This guy, I, he, he, he uh, I, my God, uh, I'm amazed that he can do it. Like I, like he's not frightened. Like he, uh, maybe he is. This is some sort of fetish, like Cretchen says. Like he only gets off when he's in these uh, situations. He's like, a, uh, he's like, he's into being seen. He's into peeping. He's into being peeped. And he likes this kind of thing. What's his name? What what gear does he put his car in? I want to see if there's his name so we can give him a call. Nope, there's no uh, there's no name attached to this just yet. Yeah, that movie is Crash, though. Not to be confused with that shitty one that won an Oscar for being woke. But uh, this is David Cronenberg, who actually a really interesting director. Wait, are there two movies called Crash? Really, boner. Yeah. Yeah, that one crash that came out like in 99 or 2000, which I was like, oh, what? And there, it's like snows in L.A. and it's all about how people are racist. But oh, I guess I'm thinking about the stuff. one with James Spader, whichever one that is. James Spader. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I, it's a lot harder to find. But yeah, it's it's all about symphophiliacs who are sexually aroused by car crashes. Group of symphorophiliacs. I, no, I'm I'm looking through this article. I'm gonna list I, that on my uh, my HR record. There and you go. Yeah. According to Fox 26 News, uh, they didn't do a follow up to see if he actually did orgasm. Like yeah, did, he he actually, compl- did, did he did he finish? No, we, there's, there's no indication here. This is poor reporting here. Can I taste right. your juice? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any juice to be had. I think it's on the the floorboards of the car. If you want to, if you want the juice. 
right there. Is CSI going to show up? And yeah. I don't understand you. You're a disappointment this week. No, he's, he's trying to get some trying to get some work done there. So I am interested. There should be a follow up. These are the kinds of stories we really need to focus on. I think so. Like, why wouldn't you ask that question, or, or at least ask the 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 people in charge there? It's like, listen, you got into a car crash. Obviously, there's video, TikTok video of this guy pounding his pud, and <laughs> did he did he actually do it? That's DNA evidence that this occurred. Like, you'd figure that the police would want to collect that. I would love to be on the jury for this one. And just keep asking, clarif- he, keep asking, keep asking clarifying questions over and over. Yeah. <laughs> now, but did he come? Yes, this, this is important. Where right, did so it come? I, go? I did find this is a crime scene photo. I did find a photo of the inside of his car. This is from the from the police. Is he a grower or a shower? Oh, crash! That just looks disgusting. <laughs> Whatever that is, it looks like some like five milkshakes exploded in a car. <laughs> this, this guy, he's been at it for. This is why he crashed. He couldn't see out the windshield. He'd been at this all afternoon. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> so I jerk uh, off in front of fourteen year olds. <laughs> that's what this guy was doing. <laughs> It's it's like the, my favorite South Park with Stan in the porn. Nobody has. Yeah, it. it's exactly what it is. You it's did e- this. Ectoplasm is a ghost. <laughs> it's a ghost. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. Um, let's uh, let's move on here a little bit. Let's please let's get it, let's get it done. Got this one story uh, from Taiwan. I think Taiwan's going to be in the news a lot coming up here. Yeah, but- it does not look good for Taiwan. If their their entire if, if Formosa's entire existence has been based on the threat of of retaliation from the United States, and we just got pushed over by four guys in a golf cart in Afghanistan. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't look good. No, no, it doesn't. By the way, where's mom? We can't even find mom. Okay, well, he, pu- he pulled all the troops out of Afghanistan to go look for mom. Yeah. So we can't even find mom. There's no way we're helping out uh, Taiwan when China comes knocking on their door. But this is a, a different kind of Taiwanese story. And this is 40% of Taiwanese report strange encounters at work during ghost month. Now, I didn't know uh, Taiwan had a ghost month, but apparently they do. Is it like Black History Month? <laughs> uh, good question. Can I get a day off for that? Yeah, is it uh, like Pride Month? Is there a ghost parade? Uh, oh, by, and by Pride Month, you mean all Coca Cola is ghost fl- ghost uh, themed? That's it. We'll find out, I guess. Here, so thirty one percent admit that they don't dare work overtime alone at their company during the festival. So uh, this is Taipei survey results reveal forty percent of Taiwanese workers had strange encounters while working overtime alone in the office during Ghost Month. Surveys by one hundred and twenty three people. Well, a survey by Yes 123, I guess is a survey company, was completed by over 1,200 professionals. They found that 30% said they would routinely consult the lunar calendar while scheduling tasks to avoid inauspicious days during the time of heightened supernatural activity, according to the UDN report. Uh, I can't say I, I fault them. I'd probably do the same thing. You know, that's uh, probably pretty common practice. Uh, of those who reported uh, experiencing strange encounters, the most common were an eerie sound emanating from the office. That's seventy percent of people. Uh, they also uh, people reported uh, felt a shadow flash in the office corner. Fifty percent, or they heard footsteps approaching but saw no one. That's thirty-seven uh, percent. Office lights flashing on and off. Uh, office windows suddenly opened on its own. Some also reported hearing a flush. When sitting on the office toilet, wait, wait. Now so that, the ghosts ah, are like abusing their toilets now. I guess so. They have uh, some toilet ghosts over there. Are they are they holding it all year until they come out during Ghost Month? I guess that's the only time that they can actually do anything. But maybe. But they also uh, never had uh, the shit so bad. They also uh, experienced silence after answering the phone. And the last one with only 9% of people experiencing uh, elevator stopping on office building floors without anyone who called it. Oh, come on. This is just a troll at this point. You could literally just... There's a ghost. There's a ghost. Ghost, ghost. I see him. I'm, I'm just going to hit, like, hook up a string to Steve's, uh, you know, pencil over there. And I'm going to pull <laughs> on it. It's at 7.30 p.m. 
Just what, to fuck with them. What does Steve do to you? Yeah, he's scared of ghosts. I'm Inspectors. just fucking with it. It's ghost month. I uh, Wouldn't that be the thing? Ghost month. Oh, here's a good one. It'd be like, you know, it's like April Fool's Day. I got to have something. Oh, I see. What month is ghost month? What month is ghost month? It it moves around because ghost ghost month is the seventh month of the lunar calendar, which means late summer. So usually July, August, September, depending on where the lunar calendar falls or where the lunar new year falls, because remember that moves around too. Um, So I'm reading up on it here. It says the gates of hell open, allowing evil spirits to roam the land of the living. Uh, So locals have devised ways to appease the ghosts and ensure a relatively safe month. Temples are visited, ghost money is burned, and food is left outside the house as an offering. That's right. So there you go. Do well, ghosts need a vaccine passport? Oh, yes. Uh, are they vaccinated? Mm. And are the, are are the ghosts vaccinated. wearing masks this year? <laughs> well, for companies looking to purge their office of unwanted, ominous activity and conduct business as usual, holding, holding a traditional poo ceremony... To show respect for the spirits and make food offerings is considered the obvious choice. Couldn't exactly. they just call, call the Ghostbusters? They could. They could call Bill Murray or Dan Aykroyd. And they, could, they could get that done, sure. They're pretty expensive. They'd usually have to fly them over to Taiwan. Yeah, they're probably pretty and, well booked that month, too. Yeah, they probably would be. And if yeah. I have to do this, what you call hoodoo ceremony? Yeah, it's the poodoo. P-U-D-U. P-U-D-U. Now, do I put that on my... Google Calendar or my Lunar Calendar, and how do I invite oh. my friends? And can I put together like a uh, a, a wish list for like you, gifts? You mean a wish dot com list? Some, well, I don't know. What do they do when you get the registry or for the weddings and shit? I want a ghost month ghost ghost registry. Who do registry? <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna burn all my ghost money and all Goblin. this shit. Yeah, we need to get rid of these ghosts, and so then you can bring me I don't know some blueberry cereal. Be good. Okay, the Goblin. <laughs> So here's a note here that says um, there are also a list of things locals will not do during this month, fearing that to, to do any of them will either attract the attention of evil spirits or bring bad luck, including swimming, going out at night, tapping people on the shoulder, turning your head, getting married, buying a new house, moving into a new house, opening a new business or getting in a car wreck while jerking off. Oh, OK. I was going to ask, but so that's completely allowed. OK, good. Ghosts uh, do not like that. Yeah, you might become a ghost if you do that. Come something. <laughs> oh, God. That guy's he just got into a car wreck. My God. Oh, he's a, he's... yeah, dropping loads. Yeah, that guy's a ghost now. <laughs> Those are his last words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen to that specter. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How? How he's, spooky. He's centering the afterlife. <laughs> How spooky. Is that the noise you hear in the office late at night? You're that guy? Uh, oh, yeah. I can't take a shit so bad. Oh, it's a ghost. I know that sound anywhere. Light a match, ghost. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Taiwan, Taiwan sounds spooky and crazy. Yeah. Do, not go to, do not go during ghost month. Yeah. I geez. hope the Chinese does invade. Get rid of all those ghosts. <laughs> my God. If your hoodoo ritual ain't this lit, don't even invite me. Yeah. yeah. We need people jacking off and dying on the spot. Yep. That's what we do in America. <laughs> Give us an email at ourbigdumbmouth at gmail.com. Check out obdmpod.com for all the social media and donation links. Be a part of the magic.